Okay, in this video, we're looking at describing the bonding and structure in benzene. This is generally a six mark question. It's come up two or three years uh, were in a two or three years worth of exam papers. Benzene as a molecule is so different from anything else. This is why we're looking so particularly at benzene structure and bonding. There's no other molecule that really mimics the structure you've got of benzene here. And of course, benzene is tremendously useful for pharmaceuticals uh, and explosives and other dye stuffs. So it's a really important molecule and that's why there's so much emphasis on being able to describe the bonding and structure in benzene. Six marking points here. We're going to have a look first at the structure. What I want you to do there before we even start, I think, is because I've put up this diagram, go through now and try and label as much of that diagram as you possibly can. The place I'm going to start is just looking at this carbon-carbon ring structure. So I'm going to ignore for now the yellow and blue areas in the diagram which you know, of course, are the P orbitals, but I'm going to ignore that. In fact, for the first three marking points, I'm going to ignore that. What I'm going to look at, first of all, then, is just one carbon. And if you look at one carbon here, you've got a C bonded to an H, bonded to a C, and bonded to another C. Now, three bonded pairs should know from F321, a central atom with three bonded pairs has what shape? Okay, yeah, a trigonal planar shape. A trigonal planar shape has a bond angle of 120 degrees. And it's vitally important in the exam that when you draw your diagram like this one, that you put on that 120 degree bond angle on your diagram to get the mark because it shows that you know where that 120 degree angle is because without showing it you could be saying that it's anywhere so that's our first marking point there is a 120 degree bond angle then looking again at my purple splurge here where I've got carbon 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 bonded in the ring there those black lines that's part of our diagram it is flat each one of those carbons if you take it as a central atom is bonded to three other atoms which forms that trigonal planar shape here we're just going to say that this molecule is planar so for our first two marking points we've got that the bond angle marked on the diagram is 120 degrees and that the molecule is planar and that was a bit of a seasick moment there. Um, the next one then that we can label straight on the diagram here is our sigma bond. Still concentrating then on those carbons. We've got here our bond here is a sigma bond. There's our sigma bond between the carbons and the hydrogens, we've got our sigma bond. So that's our third marking point. We're looking now not at the structure, but at the bonding, but we're still looking at just the simple part of our diagram. So here, we're now shifting to look at the bonding. Our first bonding mark is for sigma bonds between the carbons. So that's our third mark for saying that each of those carbon-carbon or carbon-hydrogen bonds is a sigma bond. Now, let's turn then to have a look at, and I'll get rid of this. Let's turn then to have a look now at our yellow and blue sections of the diagram. We should see then that we've got, first of all, and you should have labelled these we've got our p orbitals. Our p orbitals, our p orbitals then coming 
here. These are our p orbitals. These p orbitals, of course, from this diagram to this one, have overlapped. And it's key that you say how they've overlapped. This is going to be a side-on overlap between these p orbitals. And you must say that to get them up. So we've got here p orbitals overlap side on. Now, what does that form? Of course, you've got this ring here. This ring now is a pi bond above and below. And your diagram here, as you've got the diagram there, that will show above and below. But if you don't draw the diagram, and again, I you should draw the diagram in this question because otherwise you can't mark your bond angle on. You should be showing immediately that you'll have your p orbitals above and below. So we're forming then with this ring a pi bond. So that's our fifth marking point is to say that these electrons are now in a pi bond. The final thing then, and what's key about benzene, of course, is that this pi ring, or these pi bonds formed now a ring on top and above the molecule are of course delocalized electrons. So that's our final point is for saying forming a ring containing six delocalized electrons. So there you have describing the bonding and structure in benzene. The format is the same each time you need to pick out these six points. So the bond angle 120 degrees marked on the diagram. The shape is planar. There are sigma bonds between the carbons and, of course, between the carbons and the hydrogens. The p orbitals overlap side on, and it is key to draw a diagram, forming a pi bond, which is a ring containing six delocalized electrons. And, of course, they're above and below the ring.